Hi. So in this video, you are going to see how to automate and test your website without coding. Yes, so without any programming knowledge and skills, how you can automate and test your website. So we are going to use a free tool to simply record and play our test cases. Also, this tool can be used by final year students to test their web based projects. So we are going to use Selenium IDE for the same. So basically Selenium IDE is an automation tool which is free. It is easy to install. You just have to uh, install it on the, your browser. So it's just a one click installation. There is a record and play option. No prior programming skills required. You can create multiple tests and suits. Supports multiple browsers like Chrome, Edge and Firefox. Also, the test scripts are reusable. So let's begin. First of all, how do we install this particular tool? So it's just a simple plugin. You need to open your Chrome browser. Go to this particular link. The link will be shared in the description box. Click on add to Chrome button. And this is the official Selenium IDE website from where you will get the information of this tool. So here you can see Selenium official site. So just have to click on the Chrome download. It will take you to that particular page where you just have to simply add this plugin to your browser. Now, since I have already added that plugin, so I did not have to install it again. For the first time, you will just see a button add to Chrome. That's it. Uh, below, you can just scroll down. You can see the screenshots and some information with respect to this tool that is Selenium IDE. So we are using the latest version. The latest version is 3.17. So the capabilities and uh, about these tools are mentioned over here. Next, uh, we'll see how do we use this tool for automation? How do we use this tool for testing any application or any website? Simple steps open any website open selenium ide 3.17 which is the latest one select options that is record a new test in a new project start recording your test and stop when done play your test cases and run it finally similarly you can make a suit that is basically a collection of test case and you can play the entire suit so let's begin here, uh, for a demonstration purpose, I have used this site that is DemoBlaze, which is a test site which is for free. So just go to this uh, website. Again, the link will be shared in the description box. Open this IDE, Selenium IDE, which is there in the extensions. Click on record, new test. Uh, enter the project name. Click on OK. Project name is demo blaze project one. Now here it will ask you for the base URL. So what you do is just copy the URL, whichever website you want to test and paste it over here and click on start recording button. It will automatically open a new window with the URL with the application. Now here you simply have to perform manual testing. So for example, I'll just go to this login page. I'll enter my username and password. and click on the login button. So basically whatever steps that I'm doing manually, all will be recorded. You can see Selenium ID is recording. So all these steps will be recorded automatically. I'll just save this test case. So this is test case one, saved it. I'll stop the recording. You can see all the commands have come up over here automatically. So there is absolutely no coding required as such. So anyone can use this <coughs> without any, uh, programming skills, hard coded skills. Uh, you have to save the project with an extension that is dot SIDE, which is for the Selenium ID. So give the project name, save it. 
now i'll just run this script for running you can see there is a button run current test case just you have to click on that it will uh, automatically launch the browser it will do the test you can see test case completed but that was quite fast so what i'll do is i'll uh, probably reduce the execution speed here you can see the logs which will come i'll just log out once again and i'll uh, run this particular test case once i'll just uh, reduce the execution speed you can, here you can see the toggle button I'll just clear the logs i'll run it once again automatically browser launched it will go to that particular page enter username enter password we click on the login button so it has logged in successfully here you can see test case completed successfully yes now here there is one more advantage if we can continue with the same test case and we can continue from the steps where we have stopped so for example let's say uh, after this login i want to add some more steps so i can start recording from this point itself so uh, the commands executed were till 8 here i'll just start recording from number 9 now let's say i want to verify this uh, welcome username so i'll just right click selenium ide verify and i'll select the text option so whatever i am selecting it gets automatically added in the command list so basically the objective here is to verify the text you can see the text has been populated over here automatically so it shows welcome digvijay tester one so i've just saved this i'll just uh, log out close this browser manually i'll uh, clear the logs and i'll run it once again so here the objective will be to log in as well as it will verify the username you can see browser launched and it will enter the username enter the password login and it will verify the username so username verification is done over here which was successful yes so all green meaning all test cases have passed uh, all commands have passed now i will just uh, change this purposely verify text and uh, let's say we are expecting a different value and let's rerun it to see whether it really verifies the text or not so i'll run it once again browser launched go to the login page enter username enter password click on login yeah here you can see this time this particular test case failed for this command that is verified text why because actual and expected were different expected was tester one and actual was tester two sorry uh, expected was tester two actual was tester one i'll just log out <clears throat> so basically uh, whenever the expected and actual doesn't match it will show an error in this way it will show that particular test case failed now here i have uh, also added one logout step over here so it will log in it will verify the user and also it will sign out yeah here you can see uh, i've been signed out from this system let's suppose if we want to close the browser can it be recorded yes we can uh, insert one more step after this i can start the recording once again i'll just simply close the browser and you can see the command being added over here I'll just stop the recording yes just save this i'll clear the logs uh, i'll just put the actual value to the right one again let's run this so same automation so automatically browser launched automatically login it will automatically verify all the things log out and it will automatically close so all these things being done automatically so that was a single test case guys <coughs> uh, 
Uh, in the next video, we'll show the steps to add some multiple tests in a suit and run the entire suit. And how do we make an uh, entire test suit using Selenium IDE? Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.